What's good, Boom Crew? This is your girl, Annie Boom Fanny. I'm not sure if this is going to be included in a vlog or if this is just going to be a standalone rant video, right? So, I'm watching Dr. Oz. What is today? Today is the 24th of July. And apparently, there was a doctor who was re recently convicted of over 400 um, sex crimes against children or pedophilia, whatever. Now, there have been over a thousand victims, apparently. Um, and he was first accused in 1994, I believe. Yeah, I can look this up. If the numbers are not correct, they're probably slightly off. Because I'm watching this right now. So they have one victim on here. She's a young woman. Um, her mother states that she first brung her daughter to this doctor in when the girl was six months. So I, I turned it down so I don't I didn't listen to her age or whatever. But all I need to hear is a certain part uh, that she looks to be probably. 18 or so. I don't know. It's a white girl. She's with her mother. So, she says her earliest recollection of being... Oh my God. I'm sorry. This phone is so horrible. Her early, earliest recollection of being molested uh, is three years old. Now, he has... Not only does he have rape charges, he also has like the fondling and stuff, but he actually has charges of rape. They also found 13 hours of footage of him committing these crimes against these children. Here, oh, before I even say that, not only did the system fail these kids, their parents failed these children. And I am not one to victim blame, and I understand that in certain cases you can't control things but listen to this there have been plenty of accusations against this doctor since like I said an estimated 1994 right so for some reason or another after the second or third complaint I don't know why it wouldn't be cause enough to um, take this doctor's license pursue an investigation Blah, blah, blah. Um, but you know, like I know, in my opinion, the American justice system is a complete, utter fucking disgrace. I'm sorry, it is. The shit that I hear people get away with, it's, it's like, really? You could do a lane change and they're fucking chasing you down. But you can kill somebody, rape children, and it's kind of like, oh. But anyway, here's my issue. Here's my concern. And I'm not only going to talk about this case. Why do people play with their children? And w what I mean by play is, why the fuck are you so free with your child? Why are you so free with your children? Your children, besides your own life, is your most prized possession. I cannot claim to be a perfect mother, but what I will never in my life do is intentionally or recklessly put my child in um, danger. What I mean by recklessly is being uh, carelessly. That's what the, the word I'm looking for. When my son goes to the doctor, I go in the doctor's office with them. I don't trust anybody that goes for anybody I don't care if you're not me I don't trust you I don't put anything past anyone there's no way that your child was three years old and this man was capable of doing the things that he was doing if you were not sitting in that fucking office watching like a hawk everybody for some reason in America Especially in America, because I'm pretty sure it happens in other countries. 
people hold doctors, law enforcement, to the most highest esteem. I don't. If you fucking ask me, they're the most, how can I say, the most suspicious characters I, 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 is the only way I can put it. And the reason being is, I feel like there are two types of um, fucked up people in this world. The people who are outright fucked up and they just do what they do and you catch them and you're not surprised about it. And the people who may want to make you believe that they're not fucked up individuals. So they get careers and jobs and they set up their reputation to be a certain way so they can continue slithering in the fucking um, grass, biting and attacking people. And while you over there looking at who you believe is a fucked up person, it's a person right in front of you touching your children, doing the fucked up shit. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is from personal experience. I have been in situations as a child. I have been left with people. I have gone with people willingly, not even knowing that this person is a ill-spirited person. And they have done things to me, right? So, for the life of me, I can't understand at when your child is a certain age and you... You are the one who controls their every movement, i.e. babies. Why you would even allow them to be in a situation? There's going to be things that you cannot control when they get older. So as much as you can control when you can control it, that's when you can control it. Three years old? You can tell me that my son got to get an x-ray and I can't be in a room. Is there a window I can look through to see? All right, before you hit the x-ray and the door closed, you know, could I see you set up or whatever? And that may be, I may be biased because I have been a victim of molestation, rape. But I don't understand why in 2018 people are so fucking oblivious to stuff. And why people are so reckless with their children. Women allowing men to come into their life and then you hear the stepfather... Uh, molested the child, beat the child. Um, men allowing vicious, ill-intended woman to come into their life and they're being spiteful and nasty to their fucking kids because she got some type of problem with your, your, your children's mother. Why y'all trust people so much? Why? Why? I'm not asking you to walk around with a fucking chip on your shoulder. But y'all too reckless for me. You're too reckless, leaving your babies with, oh, my baby is with cousin such and such one day. He with other cousin such and such. This is standing the third. I'm sorry. <laughs> my child is me. It's, it's legit me. Like, I, I lay down. It was a seed growing in me. And I produced me. Like, that's me. What, what, what I, what, I don't, I, I, I can't. I'm, my mind is fucking blown. If there was a situation where your child is in school, of course you're not going to sit with your child through every single class. And There's certain situations where if it's like a teacher or a coach and there's instances where you're not there, it's, a, it's a, a normal case for the parent not to be in that room or space. Then there's but so much you can blame on yourself. But honestly, the fucking pediatrician... The pediatrician, what are you doing while your child is being examined? What? I'm holding my pee. I'm going to shit on myself. I want to see what you're doing with my baby. I don't give a flying fuck. You could be smile, you could be warm, inviting, charismatic, and that's all the more reason for me to be like, mm, let me watch this person. See, people who I bump heads with don't like me. Because I don't have a warm, bubbly personality. It's people like me that people say rub them the wrong way. But here you are being fucking super duper all cozy cozy with uh, um, um, crazy Katie because she's cool. And that bitch is sadistic and she's doing shit to your fucking kids. You letting her watch your kids. I don't understand. I do not understand the mindset of some people. Y'all allow your kids to be babysat by too many fucking people. Y'all allow too much people in your homes. Y'all allow too much people around your kid to handle your kid, to see your kid being changed. 
And no, children should not be sexualized. But the fact is, children are sexualized. I would change my son's diaper. I'm, I'm I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm covering him up and all that. I don't want nobody pulling out their phone and all this extra shit. My, my son is older now. But when he was younger, I was so fucking um, determined to p protect him from people like that. People would go up to strangers, touch their kid. Letting people kiss your kid on the mouth or on the cheek. Oh, she's so cute. Can I hold her? No, you cannot hold my baby. I'm sorry. I don't know what fucking demons you got sitting on your heart. And I don't need that tr transferring into my son's um, body. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how crazy and kooky I sound. Protect your children. Protect your children. When, all, when the world is on fire. And the only place of sanctity is your home. You are the person in the home that they should be able to go to and say, Ma, this happened. Or Ma, I feel a type of way about a certain situation that happened to me. So, once again, protect your fucking children. Two, three years old. You go into two, three babysitters a week, a month. That's too many people handling your child. We already got crazy shit in the food, in the water, medications. All this shit that y'all allowing into your child's space. You already got shit that's out to kill your children that's not even humans. So if there are things that you can protect your child from, protect them from it, please. You're too reckless. You're too fucking reckless with your children. Letting them go to the neighbor's house, letting them spend a the night at such and such house. This uh, the the little girl got an older brother and a brother doing some crazy, weird, freaky shit. And people chalk it up to oh they just kids and all oh, he was just a kid, a kid my ass. I would slice and dice any fucking body that I feel is a threat to me and mine. Especially if I know for a fact that you know better. So that is my rant. I just feel like people are so trusting. You don't you won't just leave your credit card out and hope that somebody won't pick it up and use it. But you'll just leave your kid wherever and think that somebody's not capable of using them. It does not happen to more girls than it does boys. Boys are not exempt from this conversation. Protect your sons. Teach your sons to be mindful of their mannerisms, demeanor, when they're around little girls and other little boys. Hell. The other day I'm walking. I'm, go I'm getting on the train. And I see this little boy. as a group of kids. And this little boy went up to three other little boys that he knows. And he's slapping them on the butt. So, the boys was visibly uncomfortable with it, but they kind of chuckled and was like, one of them was like, yo, what's, what's wrong with him? Why are you doing that? Why are you touching people like that? That is the issue. You don't teach your kids not to touch people, especially in certain places. This is not a joke. It's, you, like I said, you cannot control everything. But little boys should not be grabbing other little boys' nuts and touching other little girls' butts because they think it's fucking funny. It should be implemented in them that certain behaviors are not okay. And if you do not implement it, that into your child, your, ch your child is going to be in a lot of fucking trouble and you're going to have a lot of grief in your heart and you're going to say to yourself, what did I do as a parent or what did I not do as a parent that this child is behaving like such, inappropriately, creepy, over hostile. My son is at an age where he's starting to get little feelings down there or whatever. He's 13 years old. He got in trouble one time in school because they claimed that uh, um, when he dropped the pencil, he looked under the teacher's skirt. When I say I went in on my son, whether he did it or not, I wanted to fucking make clear that if it was not intentional, that he still 
has to watch his fucking behavior. He still has to watch his behavior. You drop the pencil and the teacher's standing right there. You have to be so fucking mindful of what you're doing as a boy. You have to be very mindful of what you're doing as a boy. Because what you may think is harmless or unintentional, when people are looking at it, it looks a certain way. I don't care. People have to. Pe people can say, "Oh, your child shouldn't be walking on eggshells." You're not gonna label no nothing over here that came from me, my body, as creepy or um, inappropriate. It says a lot about me. My son, when there's other kids around, my son is tall. He looks older than what he is. If I see him without a shirt, go put a shirt on. That doesn't only apply to girls. People have this thing where they, men can walk around with no shirts. That makes some people uncomfortable. And no, we should not be uncomfortable with the human body. But we have to implement this in our children. We really do. Go put a shirt on. You cannot walk around in your uh, underwear. You cannot do that. Of course, to the other kids, they, that, that's not how they think it. But if you do not do these things from when they are younger, they will grow older to believe certain behaviors are fucking okay, and it's not. So back to the topic. Watch your children. Watch your children. There's no way at three years old something like that could happen at the hands of a pediatrician. I'm supposed to be watching this doctor with the fucking eagle eye. I'm going to watch you. I'm going to watch the, the nurse that has to come in to do this and that and that third. I'm going to watch the ER doctors if I got to take them to the ER. I'm watching everything. Your child is you. This is the most valuable thing that you have created as a person. No amount of money, no amount of accomplishments, no amount of um, anything that you invented... No, nothing is more sacred and more important than your child. Anyways, with that being said, y'all be good, be safe.